Eileen Bram here with Digital Control Incorporated. We're continuing our discussion on the Falcon F5 LWD system to show how to install the software and Bluetooth drivers on your PC so you can upload your board data from the Falcon F5 receiver. The LWD software and Falcon F5 Bluetooth drivers are compatible with currently supported Windows operating systems. Be sure you have installed all the necessary Windows updates to your PC before installing the Falcon F5 LWD software. I have already installed the LWD USB flash drive and the Bluetooth USB radio into my PC's USB ports. You should automatically see this screen with these three folders within the first few seconds of plugging in your USBs. The first folder contains the instruction manuals for the LWD system in many different languages. The second folder contains the Falcon F5 LWD Cloud Bundle software, which is comprised of the necessary software and the two Bluetooth drivers. And lastly, the third folder is for those of us running dinosaur computers. You may have to manually load the Bluetooth drivers using this folder, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy Device. I'll start by double-clicking on the Falcon F5 LWD Cloud Bundle software. I'll double-click on the Setup. If you have internet connectivity, you may have seen a message indicating that there is a more recent version of LWD software. If you see that, go ahead and click Yes. I'll go ahead and click Next on the Setup wizard. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the setting for everybody because that is the most typical use. And we'll click Next. I'll accept the license agreement and click Next and click Install. We should see a green status bar indicating the load of the software and the Bluetooth drivers. However, I notice that there is an icon flashing in the bottom portion of my screen indicating that I may need administrative permissions to load this software. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now. And the green update bar is indicating that the software is almost completed with its loading process. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. And we'll go ahead and minimize this screen and we should see the desktop icon with the Digitrack LWD 3X software indicating that we successfully loaded it. At this point, I could go ahead and remove the LWD software USB and store it in a safe location. If you lose your LWD USB, it is possible to load the software as well as the Bluetooth drivers direct from DCI's website found at www digital-control.com. We are now ready to launch the LWD3X software by double-clicking. We'll go ahead and maximize this screen and then we'll go to File, New. And again, we'll maximize this screen for optimal visibility. And the first thing that we need to do once we're inside the LWD is to access the upload control. I can do this by either clicking File and mousing down to Upload Control. And notice that for the first time use, we're being asked to manage the Bluetooth device list since there's nothing in there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to dismiss that. Notice that we also see the Blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy in our serial port connection. If you do not have your USB radio plugged into your PC at this time, please do so. Close out the Upload Control and then reopen it and you should see the Blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy device. I'm going to go ahead and X out of this so I can show you the second method and other method to be able to access the upload control. Notice that when I hover my mouse over each of the toolbar icons, I see a brief description to show you what each of the icons is capable of doing. As I hover over this icon, I see that that is my upload control. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm going to dismiss the fact that we don't have anything in the Manage Bluetooth list. And again, I see the Blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy device in my serial port connection in my data log upload control. At this point, we need to turn our attention to the Falcon F5 receiver so that we can find the important information necessary to provide the PC with the wireless communication from our Falcon F5 receiver.
So we will access the Falcon F5 receiver to note the Bluetooth device address and the Falcon F5 receiver's serial number or device name. Eileen Braham signing off for now, but look for the next video titled Step 1 for uploading the Falcon F5 board data to the PC.